What happens when a crowd of people and cars come face to face? Spoiler, things get tense. The question is, who will give in first? Today, we're showing 60 moments when cars don't stop for protesters. Let's go. In March 2024, there were protests in Georgia against a law targeting NGOs. This brave woman stood as an example of true resilience. She kept waving the EU flag even though the police used water cannons. And shortly after, other protesters came to her aid. Back in 2017 in Hamburg, the G20 summit triggered mass protests. But not even tear gas scared some of the protesters, like this girl. And the guy wasn't phased by the strong water stream that the police used to try and knock him down. A man decided to help drivers blocked by protesters and single-handedly scattered them. When you need to take your wife to the hospital, but protesters won't let you through, good communication skills can really come in handy. Environmental activists mean well, but blocking a trucker's way? Not such a great idea. Protest by environmental activists in Rome spiraled out of control. This guy's bravery vanished real quick when a bulldozer arrived. If you're planning on attending a protest, bring an umbrella. It might come in handy. During this protest, someone took it out on a driver whose plate read Blue Lives Matter. I wanted to go home. Uh, the guy came, he started talking to me, right? I came out the car and then he started backing out and started running away. And then he said that they weren't even going to because I have to um, Blue Lives Matter page, right? Dozens of cars got stuck on the road because activists blocked access to a festival. But the police quickly restored order and did it in an epic fashion. driver needed to get to the hospital, but no one could convince the protesters to let him through. Sir. This is one of the times when breaking the rules is totally justified. This naive driver thought he could drive through an aggressive crowd. But if 
he were on a horse, he would have had much better chances. Just look at how effective the mounted police unit is during riots after a suspended soccer match. Protesters doused U.S. Secretary of State Blinken's car with liquid. The phrase bold and fearless took a whole new meaning here. Protesters decided that this car shouldn't be on the road and tried to stop it. Especially this one woman. But the driver also decided that the protesters shouldn't be on the road and didn't give in. The truck driver plowed through the crowd even despite this. Stubborn activists refused to back down and ended up taking a ride on the hood. This is from January 2024 in New York. A driver tries to make their way through demonstrators, breaking through bicycles and people's backs. Thankfully, no one got hurt. The person behind the camera couldn't understand why people abandoned their cars at the airport entrance. But it turns out it was due to a protest causing a traffic jam. Oh, there's a protest. That's annoying. A man was absolutely furious because protesters wouldn't let him drive to his daughter's school. Idiots! You can't do that! That's against the law! Get away from my car, bro. Eventually, they decided it wasn't worth the hassle and let him through. To break through the protesters, this Portland driver had to knock down a barrier, and he even took someone's motorcycle with him. We're hitting a fence and continuing on. Um, thankfully, it does not appear that anybody was hurt. Protesters blocked a highway, but this driver quickly figured it out and set an example for others to follow. The gas station was blocked by people who didn't want it to operate after a shooting the day before. They formed a human chain and many drivers just drove by. But not this one, he engaged with them. And today as protesters tried to block access to the gas station where Pellerin was killed. Now luckily no one was injured during that encounter right there, but it did lead to a heated... Aggressive protesters attacked this driver in Minnesota, but despite serious threats, he didn't back down. You guys gotta let him go. Get him out that way. Go, go. When you're all alone, but your mission is to win the great battle. Me encanta vivir en Bogotá. La transición entre Bogotá y la muerte es casi imperceptible. Climate defenders march anger drivers, and honestly, I understand why.
is Israel's Eilon Highway. In 2019, it was blocked with branches, causing a 20-kilometer traffic jam. <laughs> Protests in Leipzig on December 12, 2015 got out of control and became dangerous. So the police had to use tear gas and water cannons. The Black Lives Matter protest was peaceful during the day, but at night, even the police couldn't handle it. The driver went way overboard by aggressively forcing their way through the crowd. And later, they were arrested for it. Here's another stubborn driver, but at least no one got hurt. Fuel truck driver thought he could push through the protest, but things didn't go as planned. Whoa! No, no, Whoa! Bitch! No, no, no. Oh my god, what just happened? At first it seemed like a no-win situation, but eventually he managed to squeeze through. <laughs> No car stands a chance against dozens of people lying on the ground. Just look at the scale of the protests that took place on the streets of Los Angeles in 2020 after the police-related death of George Floyd. A man managed to negotiate with the Just Stop Oil activists and they let him drive through. Big thanks to them for allowing the use of public roads. This driver pulled off the impossible, but it's best not to try that again. Activists glued their hands to Ferrari sports cars at the Paris Auto Show to protest the use of fossil fuels. Who here feels more sorry for the cars than for anything else? Climate activist Greta Thunberg had an incident where she was arrested twice in one day during a protest in the Netherlands. But no worries, she's used to it, and both times she was released. Protesters were very lucky no one was caught in the path of that scooter. This situation was even worse, considering the car involved was a police vehicle. This woman is clearly not a fan of protests. <laughs> An environmental activist's protest blocked the road on a Roman highway, stranding dozens of cars, and the drivers decided to take matters into their own hands without waiting for the police. There are two types of drivers who encounter protests. The first, and the second. driver aggressively forced their way through the crowd, but they didn't get far. A 
climate protest clearly didn't go as planned when cars started driving over the grass to get around it. Platz haben die Autofahrer einen kreativen Aus ähm, Umweg gefunden. This reckless driver completely ignored the crowd of people nearby, but fortunately, no one got run over. This guy confidently drove through without paying any attention to the pleas to stop. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos. See you next time.